Oh, do Gary Neville still think Arsenal would still win the league? Or does he still doubt Arsenal winning league? Or oh, I remember he thinks Manchester City will go on this tremendous run and catch up with Arsenal and overthrow Arsenal and win the league. And Arsenal will be a distant third. And Arsenal fans will be in the mud, will be moaning and grunting. After 25 games, right? After 25 solid games in English Premiership, Arsenal have won 19 games. They've drawn three and lost three. Manchester City have played 25 games too. Won 17, drawn four and lost four. I, I, I love the victory today because the victory today was significant. It, it's that kind of victory that that puts that smile on your face, that grin, a bit of arrogance on our small fans' faces. So that the Manchester United fans, the Chelsea fans, the Liverpool fans can suck it. Hmm? You can suck it in. Yes, we've played our outstanding game against Everton, winning emphatically by 4 0. It was a mauling, it was a bashing. We, we held that Everton like this. That kind of victory. Saka scored the opening goal. Let, let's not get it twisted, right? The first 25, 30 minutes, Everton were to get, they were tight at the back like Bray. They were tight. They, were, they gave us no space. They were ultra defensive. They wanted to hit on the counter. They had one or two chances on the counter. And we saw the worst of Jorginho. Like, I'm not here to criticize Jorginho. But we saw the part of where Arsenal fans feared it was. When, when Everton were in transition, we saw he was struggling with pace. He was struggling to recover. You can see that was why Arteta immediately brought it, took him off rather, and brought him party for the second half. Now, Jorginho was fant- he had been fantastic for the last two games. When we are with the ball, Jorginho is fantastic. But off the ball, that is when the problem comes. And we saw when party came in the second half. We saw the sheer class, the, the golfing class, the quality. Even though you could argue because we're two goals up, Cotti, Saka, uh, Martinelli, but you, you could see there was a, there was a, there was a, there was a, there was this confidence and aura about Arsenal playing in the second half. Now, I'm not saying Jorginho is a bad player; he's our player. We have to respect it. But when opposition teams are in transition, most Arsenal fans are not smiling. Is not the best to look at. I, you could visibly see him struggling, struggling to 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 cope with the pace of the game. But with Pate, come on, his recovery pace is fantastic. It's physical. It's domineering. It was great. Everything, like I said, they're trying to be stubborn. They were trying to reenact or re, or actually replicate the performance they had at Good Saint Park. This is the Emirates. The pitch is more lush. You know, the players could zip it around real quick. We had the home advantage. We've learned from the double performance we had at Good Saint Park. So we we're ready to actually get the three points. And I'm happy to go with three points. It was emphatic. As for the second half display, it was scintillating. It was bleating. It, it, it was, like I said, it was an embarrassment upon Everton. And I love the fans that when the fans are saying you're going down, I, I, I would love Everton to go down. Yeah, I'm that petty. I would love Everton to go down. Shout out to Saka with that wonderful strike. Martinelli scoring two goals. See, we saw another thing that was very noticeable that Martinelli doesn't play well with Eddie because Eddie likes to stay stationary in the, in the box. But with Trossard, they could interchange. One moment, so, Trossard is on the wing, Martinelli in the box. I we notice Martinelli scored those two goals. Those were strikers' goals in the penalty box. So it shows you, like I said in my previous video, check my catalog. I don't think Martinelli is your conventional winger, even though he can play there, obviously. Martinelli, for me, is more of a striker. But as I would tell us most of the time, no, he's better off the wings. I'm not here to debate or argue or aggressively or vehemently oppose my manager. At the time, I respect him. I'm not a manager. I just give my opinion. But guys, let's, let, let me know in the comment section. Most, I will tell you, 75% of Martinelli's goals are in the box. And it's called striker's goals. Even though he can play on the wing. 
And we know when he plays with a conventional striker, he struggles. But when he plays with a striker who can interchange with him, he tries. What does that tell you? Let me know, let me know in the comment section. What does that tell you? How come Martinelli plays well with a forward who can interchange with him? But when you stick him on the on, on the wings, he seems to struggle. Now, I'm not saying he, can, he can't play as a winger. He can. But I don't think Martinelli is a conventional winger. I think he's a forward. I just think he, Magneto will end up being a striker. He, he senses goals. He knows where to be in the box. In my opinion. But Ateta is telling us he plays better on the wing. It's not time for us to go back and forth to the manager. We just want 4 0. I'm in a celebratory, celebratory mood. So we'll leave that conversation uh, for that time. But let me know in the comment section. What do you think? Do you think Martinelli is better off as a center striker or on the wing? Even though he can play both. But I think, and I, with all I've seen, I test, and maybe I'll have to check the stats to back it up. I've not done the, uh, I've not conveyed my stats comprehensively to back this up. I think Martinelli is better of a striker, even though Ateta still knows he's better off playing on the wings. Like I said, Everton were, were, they were easy opponents, especially in the second half. They had nothing to offer, another clean sheet. Uh, we've played 25 games now, 13 more games to go. Is looking like we can put our champagne on ice. Arsenal fans can continue to dream. He is. It looks like he's coming home. It's looking yeah. like the Premier League is coming home. Even though that's calmed a little bit, thirty more games and anything can happen. But I don't see Man City going on that run. They've they've been saying it since the second game of the season that Man City will go on this run. Man City has are yet to string four victories together this season. They are yet to string four winnings, four winning, four four uh, matches winning streak together. They are yet to do it. And for somebody that's going to go on this run, absolute nonsense. And for Gary Neville, I can't wait to put you back in your place because he keeps on chatting and deriding Arsenal for some reason. Yes, yeah, he's a man you fan, but the fact that you are being paid to be objective on Sky, see, I don't mind him having his opinion, but. When it goes on Sky, you're supposed to be objective. This guy is not objective. He is not. He's disrespectfully and overly partisan when it comes to Mario, which is which is cool. But if Aston win this league, Aston fans will have something for you. We will be having something for you. Guys, Aston fans, let's celebrate. Uh, he's looking like he's coming home. I'm enjoying the team. Uh, we play against Baltimore on Saturday. That, 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 that's very winnable. And I love the fact that Smithrow had a few minutes today. I think 10 minutes, uh, Fabio Vieira too came in, uh, Karen came in, even though it's looking like this summer, Karen might might be moving on, but he came in and played. I actually gave a few of the players on the bench uh, some minutes since we're actually having total dominance and control, especially in the second half. So the good victory, like I said, falls through. Very, very emphatic, very, very instructive. It shows the levels Arsenal have gone to this season, and I'm enjoying it. And I urge every Arsenal fan globally to enjoy this victory. Savoy it, right? Stick it, especially when Spurs lost in the FA Cup to, to that team. See, it's very funny that Spurs were telling us the biggest thing that they won the transfer window. Interesting. You can, you're allowed to win the transfer window, but provided you don't win any trophies, I'm excited. Like, share, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, you like my content. What are you waiting for? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Very important. Um, make sure you stick a like on the video. Very, very important. And do not forget to make sure your notification bells are turned on. And I'll see you guys on the next piece of content. Au revoir.